Mark on Twitter says, <clears throat> how do the CMA and CFA exams compare to the CPA exam? Are they just as challenging? I was watching your Facebook Live video and I was hoping that you, uh, and this is talking about the last one I did, that you would have seen this since you took this question from Twitter. Yeah, I said anyone who compliments me on Twitter uh, automatically makes it to the podcast. Um, and uh, by the way, there's no reason to follow me on Twitter unless you're taking the CPA exam because I don't, I don't post any selfies of my half-eaten um, Chipotle burrito bowl. Um, Mark says, your material helped me pass the CPA exam. The low cost helped. Okay, so the difference between the CPA exam, the CMA exam, and the CFA exam, uh, I've often said that the, the CMA is like BEC on crack. So um, the, the CMA is a very difficult exam. And um, so I, I have a friend who is a CPA, CMA, CIA, uh, has an MBA and um, he's not an EA but he said that the CMA isn't as hard but it it definitely takes a lot of work and so um, I mean it's, it's, it's no joke the CFA exam uh, no thank you and um, just you know think about just the the exam process nightmare that the CPA exam is like at least you can take it all like I mean you can take an exam every two or three months or whatever. The, C the CFA exam is all sorts of jacked up in terms of like scheduling and everything. And I would want no part of it, especially after passing the CPA exams. Like, no thank you. So, um, so I don't know if that's a real enlightened answer, but <laughs> uh, CMA makes a lot of sense after taking the, after passing the CPA exam. And I, I think that you'll get a much higher return on your investment becoming a CMA after taking the CPA exam than like getting an, an MBA. I mean, like, um, we're not gonna get into the M to MBAs because I'll, <laughs> I will piss off anyone who has an MBA. But I uh, highly recommend um, getting a, if you are going to do something after passing the CPA exam, um, and you can't, figure out what it is like because after you pass the CPA exam your brain's like I need more like your brain is in learning mode and I anyone who's passed the CPA exam like probably knows what I'm talking about like you feel like I don't know you, you feel like you're uh, going through withdrawal you're starting to get the uh, the shakes and so you've got to start studying something and so I would take the CMA exam um, again CFA no thanks <laughs>